Even in ancient societies, fiction approached likely or unlikely apocalyptic scenarios. The contemporary libraries of movie and video games seem filled with post-apocalyptic settings and it's more popular than ever. Fallout 4 was 2015's most hyped video game before its release. But just how likely is it that civilization will blow itself up rather than bring an end to itself any other way? All inconsistencies of Fallout's nuclear war-ridden world aside, like where is the nuclear winter, it depicts a society that brought a man-made end upon itself. And equally man-made are the means of survival, from vaults to hide away in until radiation has decreased to safe levels, to scrap tinkered into deadly weapons to defend oneself against mutated ghouls or a bunch of raiders. Civilization will most certainly plunge into ruin because of human actions. Though I'm not entirely sure it's going to be in the form of nuclear warfare. Before you dismiss this as hippie nonsense, hear me out. In his 1947 book Eclipse of Reason, Max Horkheimer stated that the domination of nature involves domination of man and that each subject has to subjugate nature in himself in order to subjugate external nature. This was one of the reasons Horkheimer and Adorno saw for the failure of the Age of Enlightenment. Yet the desire to dominate nature can be traced back to the very roots of Western civilization, such as the Genesis. As nature was stripped of all intrinsic value, humans continually treated it as a means to their self-preservation. Many anthropologists argue that this paradigm shift correlates with sedentarism. Humans domesticated plants by agriculture and started building settlements. Agriculture made denser human populations possible. Now I'm sure the development of modern society is nothing entirely new to you, so where's the grab for that? Fast forward to modern day agricultural sedentarism. The dense settlements of the Neolithic Revolution have since transformed into cities, where more than half of the world's population lives according to the United Nations World Urbanization Prospects. These cities are not self-sufficient and will, despite interesting efforts, never be. To get the resources necessary to maintain those cities, we are dependent on factory farming, monoculture, overfishing, overexploitation of natural resources, and when we can't get them by diplomatic needs, we will find ways to extract them by force. Each of the aforementioned mechanisms is known for its devastating impacts on nature, and we can witness the effects of global warming right now. I mean, isn't there supposed to be snow outside this time of the year? There has been no holiday season warmer than this one in Central Europe ever since weather data has been recorded. I don't want to frighten you, and I'm not prophesizing how the world as we know it will come to an end. I just think that our excitement for post-apocalyptic fiction where zombies, nukes or terrorists are responsible for the downfall of civilization are a comfortable distraction. And now, I'll go play some more Metro 2033. Whew, what a grim topic, but I've been wanting to do a video like that for a pretty long time and now the timing just felt right. If you still enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and while you're at it, take a look around my channel, usually the topics are not that grim, so I hope you still enjoy it. If you do, click the subscribe button right here and I hope to see you next time when TOG theorizes on games.